Hi Cadet Orchestra Cellos, my name is Zachary Sweet. I am your Arkansas Philharmonic Orchestra member here to help you guide your practice uh, towards your preparation for region orchestras. Um, I'm looking at the Jolly Sailor and um, as always um, refer to your teachers uh, for guidance on fingerings and bowings help. Uh, a lot of this is predetermined. Um, if I offer something, an idea, um, always at, let your teacher know um, and uh, talk it over with them. The video will have three parts. I'll first play it at a practice tempo that I've selected. Then I'll go into some of the practice or um, highlighted features of the excerpt. And then I will finish with a performance uh, at the uh, prescribed tempo. So for the Jolly Sailor, I've selected 75 beats per minute as the practice tempo, something slow where I can get all of the articulations and the dynamics. Here's what that sounds like. Now I'll play it for you. The three features of this are uh, uh, the left hand accent, staccato at uh, quieter dynamics, and then what I call the jump bow. The first two I'll just mention briefly, I think they're uh, pretty self-explanatory, but they come up quite a bit. So the left hand accent, um, what I call a left hand accent, happens in measure 8, and then measure 16. Um, and it's where I make my vibrato and my bow go a little bit faster than they normally would. So I'll play for you for measure seven so you can hear the difference between what I would call a, uh, my normal vibrato and then what my accented vibrato sounds like. So you can tell that it's quite, uh, quite a bit faster uh, and it's a really good tool to have. The articulation at the quiet or dynamic happens in measure 9 and it lasts through measure 14 and this is really important uh, because um, the, the dynamic changes but the articulation doesn't. And this I will play for you. Um, there's not a really great way to practice it. Um, it's just something we have to be able to do. I do find, though, that when I do this at a quieter dynamic that I have to use a lot less bow and I have to keep my bow in the string. I'll demonstrate that. Compare that with my forte. Notice how much bow I'm using between the uh, in the forte, and how little bow I'm using in measure nine. I'll show you that again. Finally, I think the though the feature that will probably take a little longer to practice is the jump bow, and this is my idea. So again, ask your teachers but it's the rhythm wherever you have a staccato followed by legato. And it's usually uh, shorter legato notes and longer staccato notes. We have that in the very first measure we play that. So you can see that I'm not keeping, I'm not keeping my bow in the string, I'm actually jumping back and forth. And we do that a lot. So measure one, three, five. Um, I'm going to say that measure nine also, the hooked bow, the first, the dotted eighth note is also some kind of jump bow. That again happens in measure 11, 13. So 
I'm starting at the frog, I jump, so it really requires to bite the string, jump, um, if you're uncomfortable doing this and you have to keep your bow in the string, just make sure that you're hearing both staccato and legato notes. The, practice, the performance tempo is 110, here's what that sounds like. <laughs> 